Hello, Gomez friends. I hope you are well. Welcome back to the program. Today, something very different. We are here in Australia, in North Queensland, near Georgetown, in a large cattle station, and we are in the middle of winter. It's over 35 degrees during the day. We are in a company of two successful gold prospectors, Jeff and Steve. Watch until the end to see how much gold we find. How's it going? Good. Hey, where have you been? Oh, firewood. That's good. Thank you very much. They are very clever. Tonight, double chimney at the campfire. And my friend Steve, the prospector Steve, is chopping wood. We have to leave the big fire. Thank you, Steve, for making the fire. Is that the, what type of wood is it? Some type of, it is a, a eucalypt. Yeah? Some sort, but I don't know what's it. And what are they good for? They make good uh, coal? They make good coals, yeah. And they don't burn as, as hot and slow. Fantastic. Today, I will cook a Brahma roast beef. I have to try that. Pretty good for the outdoors. Mmm, the Brahma. Mm. Okay, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to support the channel. Click the bell, you won't miss the next video. Watch until the end to see how much gold we find. Thank you to the butcher in uh, Georgetown for supplying this beautiful Brahma beef. After a few gold expeditions in Western Australia and North Queensland, I had to readapt my French cooking to the outback environment. Like the first pioneers, shearers, cattlemen, and gold prospectors. Now, the cooking starts. We got the roast beef, 1.5 kilo here, and we're going to make an incision inside. Okay. Now, inside we'll be mixing some breadcrumb, some diced tomato, some onion, red onion, and some bacon. and one egg. Okay. Now, salt, oregano, and some good fresh herb, and of course, cracked pepper. All right, now you mix well, nice stuffing inside the roast that will be giving a very nice flavor. Okay, now we have made a big incision inside and we're going to put the stuffing in the middle. Oh man, look at that. Compress well, and now with a noodle, we're going to do magic. We're going to soak, okay? One, two. Okay, now you do a little bit of sewing. And the stuffing will be inside and will give a nice flavor to the Brahman roast. Okay, done. A good nut. And the beast is ready. 
Now we're going to roast this beauty. Okay. Ready. Okay. Now I put some olive oil. And as you can see, my olive oil got some herbs already. Basil, salt, tarragon. Let us marinate and let's interview our gold prospectors. Bravo! This is my friend Steve, the gold prospector. How are you doing today? Well, Gerard, you want to see the gold that I just found this morning? Okay. That'd you. be good. I found a horseshoe. What? So you're always finding relics. It's a horseshoe. That's all. And, oh. uh, but I'll show you what else I found. So this is this morning. So I've got these pieces oh. here. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, what do you use to detect? I'm using a Mind Lab GPX 6000. Oh, lovely. Is that good? It's a good Is detector. that go deeper? It goes fairly deep. Oh, fantastic. Okay, thank you for that. Firstly, lit the big bar to make the coal. Cast iron may be fragile. They used to break when they fell from the saddle of a horse. Now, warm up the cast iron and the lid for five minutes before cooking. And also, when you wash them, don't put cold water in it. It may break when they're very hot. After five minutes, the cast iron and the lids are hot, ready to put the meat inside. Now, as you can see, I dig a little hole here and I'm going to put the ashes, uh, the coal, sorry. See? Okay, good. Now put the Brahman beef in a camp oven. Cover with a lid and put some coal on top. Thank you very much, Robin, for wrapping all the potato and the carrot in a foil. Sweet potato, they don't need uh, to cook for a long time. Just a small lay of coal on the grain will be needed. Look at that, nice color. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. In between, the chef is having a pina colada. Thank you, Janine, for this beautiful cocktail. Here's my friend, uh, Jeff, a gold prospector. Thank you very much, for Jeff, for shopping all the wood behind you. No Can you problem. tell me, uh, did you went detecting this morning? Yeah, we went out and found a few pieces. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you show me what type of gold you got here? Gold, gold. Oh, I think you'll be robbed tonight. Wow. <laughs> well done, Jeff. A lot of prospecting on the station? Yes. As you see, plenty of places to prospect. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you very much, Jeff. No worries. Let's see what's happened. Oh, ho, ho. Look at this. Look at the beast. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Ho. It is beautiful. Okay, now we're ready. You can come closer. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, nice. Nice and cooked. Okay. And now what is this beautiful meat? Just waiting for the gravy. We're waiting for the gravy. And it will be perfect. That's alright with the carrots. That works. For your gravy. You want to put the gravy here? On the meat. gravy. Oh, that's yummy. Fantastic. Okay. 
a, a little bit of uh, grape juice. Grape juice, yeah. Grape juice, fermented grape juice. Mm -hmm. I have to try that. Pretty good for the outdoors. Mmm, the brema. Mm. You can see the cattle coming in the back. <laughs> I can assure this one is beautiful. Ter, enjoying the meal. Ter, look at them. You look happy. Hello. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm sure you will find that very helpful in the next trip in the bush. Remember, thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to support the channel and press the bell, you won't miss my next video.